Okay, this is about my other book. Who are you, dream guy? Okay, like I said, there's a song in it. Um, I also do it in large print for people that can't see very well. Chapter 1. This is how I start. Who are you, dream guy? Page 2. I had a dream I went to a bar and met a guy. He was wearing cream color khakis with three pleats above each front pocket. They were tacked up at the bottom to above the ankle length. He had on a white shirt with real gold embroidery, buttoned halfway up. The sleeves were a little frilled at the end, lined in the same gold embroidery. His chest was showing not too muscular, a little pudginess to the bottom of his tummy. His skin was reddish brown, his eyes a golden brownish color, his hair shoulder length and a little darker. Okay, and I'm not reading you all this stuff. Over. Okay, but this is page, on page 9. Yeah, I'm ready. Page 2. Now I'm going to page 9. Because you want the book, you got to buy it. Okay. His arms were a type of tribal markings and his chest of fire with a man walking through it. His arms muscular but slightly slender. Which each puff of his cigarette, I watched his muscle balls in the perfect formation on his left ankle wore a charm with a dangling cross. His nose were short and clear coated painted. I looked over at him and now my mind thought of this song. And it starts your lips and that's the beginning of the song. Okay, a different page. Dream guy was laying fast asleep. A little dribble was coming out of the side of his mouth onto the fillet. He looked so adorable. Curled up on top of the bare skin blanket. I finished my cigarette and lay down beside him. I just pulled some of the blanket over me. Soon after I laid down, I fell asleep. I dreamed of an angel singing, and it was singing Gloria. Then the angel said, Awake. And I also, in my book, Okay, and it's a different page, so you know. The dream guy asked me to go for a walk on the roof with him because it's a spiral house. And you walk up around a spiral house and on top of the roof is like this big flower garden thing, okay? And you're set, and, okay, and describe the place where we went in the plane. We're setting it in on this dock, and it's like water. But across the dock, from where the beautiful place is, he lives, and you look across the um, river, lake, or whatever in my dream and now this like trash barge thing it was like a big trash barge across from his house and over on that side of the river you can see all the smog and all that but on this side we were when you go up on the roof you can see the stars are clear and the flower garden the grapevines and everything planted up on top of the house this is a dude's house okay we got to the hundredth stop then kill truth sat down and i sat beside him we began to cuss. The stars shining at eye level with the stuff we were on. His eyes sparkled as the stars shine, always a perfect match ah! to one another. And his, his eyes matched the stars. But it goes in specific detail. Um, this is also a romance novel thing. Oh, page 40. His kiss and his touch, and he goes like, oh, ah, and well, 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 <laughs> like that, but a little different. And I'm not going to be special reading it, though. Okay. I started love making one of the steps. I go to the bathroom and run me a bath. I took a while, fell asleep in the tub. I woke in the water shower. I wrapped in a towel and walked into the bedroom. I smoked a cigarette and I sat on the edge of the bed. That's page 40. I don't know what's in it. Okay, and this is about a pattern around a curtain or something. Like that. And the center is what Chinese word love. And the silver silverware was a golden color. Marshall! No! Sorry, my dog. Uh, Chinese word love. The silver was a golden color and handles around 
on the ends with sweet little reds in the centers of the roundness. The roses were engraved and popped up to the touch. It means like to look at them, you know, it's like there's drawn flat, and when you touch them, you can feel the design. I thought they were very unique, and they were glasses, and they were a clear pinkish color, cut in designs of rose petals and leaves. The design covered all the way around the bottom rim of the glasses. The whole one side were stems and leaves. The top rims were a single rose on one side. Very good glass cutting technique. The food was fresh, fresh fish, I think pie. The fish had a lemon dust flavor and black ground cover, perfectly seasoned. The taste not too salty or lemony. The seaweed salad contained red cherry tomatoes, purple onion, cucumbers, carrots with a quarter piece of radishes that I finally a vinaigrette dressing, and the food was so delicious. I savored every bite. The drink was grape juice made from the vineyard on the roof, meal on top of the house of the roof. I was like, mmm, like that. This is so good, pirate. Now, pirate's another character in my book. No wonder you were such you were such a good wife to kill Kelly. I giggled. Pirate looked over at me, one eyebrow raised. Thank you, I think. And I laughed. <laughs> now, Pirate is um, the other guy's gay lover, but Pirate's girlfriend is pregnant. So it's kind of a weird situation. Okay, he has black jeans and a cream sock. Okay. So it tells more details, but anyway. All at once, the moon took over the race, and the sun had gone to bed. The air chilled down more. We got up and walking together, still gabbing of the sky. Pirate was was at the first room of the entranceway. He looked at us smiling. He asked, puzzled, "What are you two into?" The girl giggled as I did. Then she replied, "The wonders of the sky and the ways you men are." I told her all about your sex, our sex life, and she kept giggling, as I cannot hold a loud, <laughs> as I cannot hold it, a loud laugh, is what I did. Pirate looked at us and said, what is so funny of our sex life? And I replied to the laugh, nothing, just the fact you're gay, or did you forget you are? He too smiled and said, you two go in the kitchen and prepare dinner. Okay, and then go on. There he was, mitering guy. He looked so handsome. Okay. And these are different pages, like I said. I'm just skipping around there to give you a clue of what's in it. So you're not getting the whole story in order here. Oh, and today, and the clouds look as fluffy rabbit furs. The clouds change shapes as they move slowly across the sky. One cloud looks like a bear. Another cloud went, went by and looked like an angel wing. Some barely peeking out through them. It was not as warm on my skin as it was bright to the eyes. Like. It was still a beautiful day. The pregnant girl came out. She opened the door. I fell backwards, looked up, and then giggled. Sorry. And she looked down, giggled herself, and said, Okay. And it's a different page. You, what a temper you have, and such feistiness. And now I looked up. Feisty? You pirate are just that. A pirate. Vindictive, ruthless, and cunning. Pirate laughed even more, sir. I just shut it up and ate my toast with jam. Then I drank a glass of juice and retired to the dock. I set my head leaning on the back door and my legs straightened out in front of me. I was looking up into the sky daydreaming of how the clouds had different shapes. The sky was bright blue. Okay, and here's another part. And I was like, Navy. Navy? Navy? I'm not Navy. Just then when I went to nap there, there were children here. 
When I awoke, there were none. Asking a question to be sure that they ate or were here to eat is nosy. Pirate, it is a question of concern, not nosiness. Pirate sat there. Okay. Then all at once again, chuckle. I gave him a as looks can kill look. What is so funny? Okay, I already described you the bedroom. Well, what is a room? It's not actually a bedroom. It's all different rooms. Okay, and this is back. This is the page three. I left with him. We went to his house, which was somewhere I'd never been before. We had to take part a private plane to get there. We landed in the water near a dock. The dock was connected to the back of the house. Okay. I, I sat on the dock. My feet just hit above the water. My feet did not touch the water there. I looked across the water and it looked like a trash barge. The sky was blackish blue and like any sky I ever viewed before. We went into the five bedroom, four bathroom house. The kitchen was in the middle of the house. And then when I met Pyre, and then Pyre at first looked at me and said, Planning on taking my boyfriend? I looked, smiled, and replied, I don't know where, where uh, we may lead in us, but we are just getting to know each other. Dream guy stood looking at us, sitting around the table. The pirate-like man was cutting an apple and chewing it. I was looking around me a bit nervously now. The girl took off to the back porch, her hair pulled back in a pony, her eyes brown, and looked sad. Her short, oh, her sh skirt flowered, flowed as she walked, sorry. Dream guy stood drinking the soda. I decided to go to the back porch with the girl. And they walked past room after room, looking out windows, seeing, okay, different pages. He lay on his side facing me as if I was a puzzle piece in a foreign puzzle. I slowly sat on the bed beside him. He placed a hand on my left thigh. My other leg was under me, even though finding out the things I, the things I did in the situation, his touch eased me inside. My heart was slowed down from a sudden rhythm to a relaxed calm beat of thump, thump. As he moved his hand up my thigh more steady, my heart beat his hand quicker. But not as if I was leaping into his touch. We spoke no words as he undressed me. I looked away from his golden eyes to ignore them. I lay on the bed covered in covered in a bare skin like cover. The pillow is like a satin yellowish in color to match the cover. His body lay beside mine as we fit perfectly into each other. It was familiar. But the reminder of his gay lover still caused me to be uh -huh. Even his kiss on my neck felt so much like we'd been there before. I lay quietly motionless a while after. In more details, but uh huh. You have to buy the book. They love playing games with any new bringing here to the house. He set up, lose by the cigarette, place mine gently on my lips. We were talking. And, and huh, I'm telling you, end of the song. And the book ends, and I waked up in my little apartment in Adrian, West Virginia, which proves more to where I live. My book. When it, who are you dreaming about? Get a hold of me and pour something out. You gotta buy it.